everybody, Angie here with I Feel the Rush in Brilliant, Wisconsin. Happy New Year! I cannot believe it's finally here. Or can I? It went so fast. I don't know. But if you joined me yesterday, we announced the winners of the cups and bowls and white tail decor yesterday. So if you did not find out who that was, go to that video and check it out. Congratulations to those of you who won. And thank you, everybody, as always, for watching, for sharing. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I'm loving getting to know more of you better. So here we are, 2020. Welcome to it. It's a new decade, it's a new year, I feel fresh and rejuvenated, and yes, out with the dress clothes and back in the hat. So here we are, back to normal. So what I wanted to do is take a few minutes just to go back to the basics. When we're talking about memories, memory decor, um, you know, we're just coming out of the holidays, so chances are you took a lot of pictures, you have a lot of stories, you spent time with family and friends, and as I'm preparing for the new year, I'm doing some basic um, cleaning house of my computer, my phone, all of the things, piles on piles on desks, in drawers, everywhere. So I wanted to give you guys a few reminders for the beginning of the year on a way to start fresh, but also making sure that you don't lose those valuable things that you have uh, for as far as memories go, pictures, stories, all those things. So I wanted to give you a few ideas and along the way, I'm going to just give you a few tips and tricks on to make sure that you are archiving your pictures and all the things that you hold dear because if it's ever happened to you, you've lost your phone, it got wrecked, you dropped it in the snow, you know, whatever the case, you were devastated. It's happened to me. I've had a computer crash and a whole computer full of photos were gone. So I want to just show you some ideas on things you can consider doing for the beginning of the year um, and throughout the year. Hey, Tim, how are you? And congratulations to you. You were one of the winners. That was exciting. Um, so first things first, I spent some time this weekend um, pre-setting up some cards for the year. Now, if you're like me, and I know you are, you go through the year and you're like, oh, I forgot a birthday card. I forgot an anniversary card. I forgot to send this person a card. And I end up at the end of the year going, I never sent anything to anyone. And it, it's disappointing because also, if you're like me, I really like to get mail that's not a bill. So feel free to send me mail that's not a bill. <laughs> um, but I will show you what I did and just use this as an example and suggestion for you. Now, if you've been watching, you knew that I went to Sweden this last summer and we met one of my cousins who is elderly. So this is him, Quinn and I. And what I wanted to do this year was, because he's so far away from me and he doesn't have much family there, I pre-created cards for him for the whole entire year. Now, that sounds crazy, I know, and you're gonna think, there's no way I can do that. But yes, you can. You don't have to make them. Um, but what I did, now I went a little extreme. I do that sometimes. Um, and I'm sending two a month. So I have two for January, two for February, two for March, every single month, and then I kind of made them themed for the holiday. What I also did to make it super simple on myself is I pre-addressed here, and then I pre-return addressed here, and so they're all ready. I'm gonna set them up, and then I have it marked in my calendar, and I also marked in the corner the month. So I have January's, I know exactly what I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the first one, I'm gonna drop it in the mail. Done, simple. So I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about all of you guys, and thought this would be really, really simple if you go to the store and buy those prepackaged like birthday cards. Set them down and spend one hour, put it on your calendar for this weekend, spend one hour, address them, write the happy birthday message, it doesn't have to be crazy long, and then write the dates of the birthdays or the dates that you have to mail it and just leave it wherever you keep your bills or your mail. And that way you'll know, oh, this birthday's coming up, I'm gonna drop that in the mail. So do yourself a favor, try this. I've been thinking about doing it for years and um, finally I'm doing it. So I hope he's gonna be really excited to see these. I think that's gonna be really exciting. And on a side note, because we were talking about pictures and memories and all the things, um, when I'm sending these cards, I actually printed a picture of us and put it inside every single card so that he knows exactly who he's getting it from. So it, it, I, I wanted to say that because there's probably a lot of elderly people you know, we all know elderly people, that maybe don't see that many people or maybe don't get that much mail or whatever. You know how happy it would make them if you just sent them a card. So 
in addition to the birthday cards, get a stack of just thinking of you cards and pre-address them to people that you know who just don't get that many visitors and would love to see a card sometime other than the holidays because Christmas cards are great, but there's a whole nother rest 364 days of the year that people are lonely, so they would love to see that. And now my light just went out. Okay, so bear with me. Um, so that is idea number, woo, oh, oh, idea number one. Sorry, we have a, a light malfunction there. Um, so that's the, the first thing I wanted to mention was the pre-addressing cards. Secondly, I wanted to mention, like I said, if it's ever happened to you, don't lose your pictures. If you have a computer with pictures on them, if you have a phone with pictures on them, get yourself an external hard drive. It's super, super inexpensive when you consider the valuable amount. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Yeah, I know I have a light here and it's going to give me a little bit of trouble. So this probably cost me around $60 or so. Um, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. And put it in your calendar to download the pictures off of your phone every month. Even if it's three times a year, four times a year, you're going to want to do this because inevitably something happens to the phone eventually and sometimes those pictures are not recoverable. So whether it's your phone or your computer, download your pictures and make sure you do that a couple times a year. My phone gets so full and I always think to myself, I would be devastated if this picture if these pictures were lost and it's happened to me so that's my tip number two is get yourself an external hard drive and download your pictures from your computer and from your phone and you will always have them um thirdly i would suggest if you are the kind of person who's on facebook you're on instagram and you're kind of just always scrolling through looking at everybody else's stuff post more pictures People want to see you. Don't be ashamed of the pictures that you have or how you look or if you have crazy hair or whatever. Because if you're like me, I want to see those pictures. I don't want to see the pictures where everybody's set up and looking perfect. I want to see crazy hair. So maybe just post some crazy hair pictures or something. Post a picture down below and don't be ashamed of yourself. So do that. That's my tip number three is for preservation, post more pictures on Facebook. Don't just be the person noodling around looking at everybody else's pictures. They want to see you too. We want to see what's going on. So um, that is my next tip. Suggestion uh, number four is it's super easy. If you don't want to download it into an external hard drive and you really like, I'm not going to keep those photos forever, the files, make a photo book. This is one that we had made at Walgreens, I think probably for 20 or $30. You can super easily upload all of your pictures into Walgreens and in like five minutes, you can have it auto fill the pictures and um, create a book for 2019 or for a holiday, a birthday, an outing. Uh, we had one done for Mexico because I took so many pictures <laughs> to just download them into here. Um, you can scrapbook them, you know, if you feel like adventurous or crafty. It's a fun thing to get together with people and do if you went somewhere with a bunch of people and you want to spend additional time going through those pictures and putting them into a scrapbook. We do that too. It takes a little bit more time. So if you're really not feeling like that, then go with the Walgreens or Walmart option um, for the photo book. Something super funny um, we came up with, and I've seen people post about it other places, is we have a family of six and we say a lot of crazy things. And sometimes we'll all be laughing hysterically and we have a list on people's phones of crazy things that we say. Now that was a recommendation I read online was to create a quote book, a family quote book of crazy things that happen. Because if you're like us, we relive those moments all the time and we laugh hysterically thinking about the silly things that we did or whatever. So, um, Tim, are you like that too? That's, oh, it's so funny because we'll look back and be like, what was that thing that I said? And usually it's about me. I don't know why. Usually it's some stupid thing that I said, but I can laugh at myself. So we have a good time with that. So that's my next suggestion is create a quote book for your year. Keep it somewhere close by. So when somebody does something funny or you just have a memory that you want to remember, um, you know, you can write it in there. Um, so what I found was I have this journal I got from Walmart for $4. It's case bound, so it'll hold together really nicely. Um, I actually use this as like my, um, 
my kind of like goal or dream book too. So that's an idea. Um, so just wanted to mention the quote book, family quote book, or just funny. Do you find yourself funny? Then write some things down. I could probably fill this with that funny things. Um, next thing, make more videos. A lot of times I've gone back and looked at old videos and I think I can't believe how much everybody's changed. I can't believe how much I've changed. Um, the kids grow, they, you know, you, you collect all of those memories in these videos and you look back and you remember just how far you've come, you know? So, um, as far as making more memories, take more videos. It's fun to look back on those. And then too, you can download those into the external hard drive so that you have in the future and you can look at them there and you're sure not to lose them because videos are something entirely different. I mean, I love photos, but videos are just an entirely different animal and I love them. Um, Cause we're getting older. Yes, we are, but better. We're still here. It's a new decade. It's gonna be awesome, Tim. Are you with me? It's gonna be great. Um, let's see here. Another idea I had for photos, which I've done is, now don't freak out when I suggest this because you can buy this, is a memory quilt where you take pictures, say you have a bunch of pictures of your mom and you wanna make a quilt for her. You can print them onto fabric and put them into a quilt. You can order those online. You can hire people to make those and it's pretty inexpensive. So one thing to consider is a memory quilt because it's a nice way to make use of pictures. You know, your mom, your grandma, your dad, your grandpa, hey, everybody likes a quilt, a blanket to lay on the couch. Um, it's a nice way to preserve those things. Hunting pictures. This is definitely a good idea for, for guys and gals that love the outdoors and love hunting. I would love to have a quilt that had pictures of all the hunting adventures that we've been on um, to relive those memories. And that's the whole point. That's why this all kind of wraps into memory decor is reliving those moments over and over again because they're just so awesome. And days like today when it's like, I feel like it's spring, but it's still January. So I got a ways to go. I'm not quite outside as much as I want to be right now. So it's nice to be able to have those things around to remind us of how awesome the outdoors is. Um, hunting clothes. That was going to be my additional comment on that is these memory quilts. It isn't just about pictures. Do you have some old clothes from your grandpa? Do you have some clothes from when you were younger and you used to hunt? Uh, maybe they're camel, they're jeans, they're whatever. Consider cutting that down and having that made into a quilt because that would be fantastic. Um, you know, you can do that with little kids clothes. You can do it with any clothes, sports clothes, whatever, you name it, you can make that into a quilt. And like I said, don't worry because you don't have to be a quilter. You can hire someone to do that. So that was it. I really wanted to take this opportunity and do a, a the annual cleanse and remind everybody before we get going on this huge, amazing year that is gonna be full of adventures, cleanse your computer, your phone, you know, the pictures that you have, get those in a scrapbook, start fresh, Otherwise, the time will get away from you and you're going to look at that biggest stack of photos. You know, get yourself an old school um, photo album. You don't have to scrapbook. You don't have to buy all the fancy things. Just get the kind that you slide the pictures into. Get them in a book so that you can put them on the shelf and be fresh and ready to take on 2020 and take tons of pictures uh, of the amazing year that is ahead of all of us. So do me a favor, since we're talking about all of these pictures um, and whatnot, you are going to go through and you are going to clean out your phone. I want you to put in the comments below your favorite picture that's on your phone right now. It can be crazy, crazy hair, whatever. You could be in your pajamas from Christmas morning. I don't care. I just want to see some real pictures from our group here and get to know each other a little bit better. Let No fake pictures. I don't want the whole family set up. I just want what were you doing this year? What was your favorite thing to do? And uh, let's see a picture of it in the comments. Please share because I love seeing people's pictures. I love to get to know you guys better. And it'll be the one place you're going to be able to go to find that favorite picture if you lose your phone. So, <laughs> so please, please do me a favor. Do yourself a favor and collect all of those pictures. Download them. Print some books. Have a quilt made. And let me know what way do you preserve pictures? What way do you preserve those memories from this last year? And let's start fresh. What are you doing to clean house? Maybe you're doing something else to clean house for the new year. I'm trying to get kind of like cleansed to start fresh. So thank you very much for joining me tonight. I hope that's helpful and I hope it's just a little reminder of how you're gonna get 
cleaned out and fresh for the new year so that all of these amazing projects you're going to be working on with me, all the awesome things that we're going to do, you have room for that in your phone. You have room and you will save all of your memories. So thank you, everyone. I hope you all had a very, very Merry Christmas and awesome new year. And I hope that I will find you here every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central, this whole year. We're gonna do Q&A Tuesdays, and we're also gonna be doing outdoor adventures. Now, mind you, I am in Wisconsin, so yeah, it still gets dark at 4.30, so it's gonna be a while before I'm gonna be outside with you guys, but I'm gonna take you guys out and see all the adventures that we're up to once spring hits. I can't wait for spring. Shed hunting's coming soon. So again, drop those pictures below, and I will talk to you soon. Send me some messages and let me know what you guys are doing to ring in the new year. Thanks again. Have a great night.